Just that sense as you settle in of clearing the lungs, the tide of your breath, clearing the shores of your body. And as always, opening with a reading. And today, coming from the incredible writer and poet Khalil Gibran, who wrote the following many years ago. Forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the winds long to play with your hair. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. Let there be spaces in your togetherness. Forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the winds long to play with your hair. And so that slow, deep breath, begin to reach your arms overhead, stretch out. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. Welcome Caroline, welcome Finn. And slowly walking your feet in, bend your knees. Just for a moment, draw the right knee in towards the chest. You could take the hands around, slide the left leg along. And little ankle circles. At the moment in practice, we're exploring a lot of fluid movements, a lot of circles and spirals. Slowly switch the legs. Seeing how complete a circle you could make with the toes. We tend to think of the bones as being straight lines. But the bones are constructed in spirals, a spiraling pattern in the bones in the cells, like the shell of a nautilus or the way that fern unfolds in fractals. We are the same stuff. Bring both knees into your armpits. And take a little rock and a roll. And then as you come back to centre, place your palms on the tops of your kneecaps so your fingers point away from you. Draw the knees into the body and then guide the knees out to the sides. And then take the knees away from you and take the knees together. Knees draw in, they circle out and away, and back together and in. Just a couple more times. Exploring the way the head of the thigh bone is a, a rounded shape. And the shape will be different from me to you and from one person to the next. So just sensing where you find a smoothness of movement as you circle the knees. And slowly come back into centre. Take your hands behind your thighs. Take a little rock and a roll. We are coming up, folks. Coming all the way up. And staying in a cross-legged position to start off with today. So as you sit, Invitation to lift the chest, sit tall, heart brightening like sunrise. Take your fingertips either side of you. And with your right arm, could you reach the right arm overhead at diagonal? Yeah. And then take it back and switch sides. It's going really slow, let the movement feel light, easy, breezy, beautiful. To copy the lines from a famous makeup brand <laughs> a couple more times. And now this time, as the left hand comes down, right arm comes overhead, could you take a circle with the hand? Let's take another one. And then bring the hand down. This time the left arm circles. 
twice and then comes down. So it goes side to side, two circles, and then switching. You might imagine you're drawing a figure eight or the infinity symbol with the hands as you take two circles each side. And how uh, smooth could the transition be? I'm circling forwards and up and back. And you might switch to one circle each side now slowly, side to side. Like a slalom. It's <laughs> two more each side. Tracing orbits in the sky. This time, bring the fingertips behind you. Breathe in, lift the chest. Tongue out, lion's breath. Again, let yourself fall down. On your next inhale, lift the spine. Tongue out, lion's breath. And again, one last time, air to the lungs, slowly find all fours. As you find all fours, turn your fingertips to face the outside edges of the mat. We're going to take a little circle over the wrists. As you circle, you can also wiggle the spine in different directions. So for whatever reason today, my back's enjoying this sort of more flexed position. But maybe you're different. Maybe extension feels good. Wiggling. Mimicking the structures of bones, spirals, circles. Never ending. From here, turn your fingertips to face forwards again. Downward facing dog. Gently tread out the feet, walking a little bit. That's it, folks. And start to settle your downward dog. Inhale to a plank position. Float your knees just above the ground now, bend them. Send your hips back towards your heels and up into downward dog. Two more of these crouching tiger rolls. This time as you find downward dog, inhale, lift the right leg. If it feels good, bend the knee, open the hip. And exhale, gently step forwards, back knee comes down. Arms rising overhead. For a moment, drop out the arms today, let them kind of dangle. So you focus the work in the centre of the body, chest lifting, pubic bone a little lifted, arms relaxed. I sense the pelvis really level, steady. You can even slightly engage your glutes, so there's a little bit of support there. Lift your left arm up by your ear, and now start to circle the arms back, one at a time. Could you keep your hips really steady and fixed? But allow the chest and the spine to move. The legs are working. Slow this down even more. Going really slow. And now as your right arm comes behind, could you turn, pause, breathe here? From here, once again, circle. Take the arms to the left. Pelvis turns open a little bit now. And now back to center. Hands down. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, low lunge. Come onto your fingertips, begin to straighten the front leg. Three, and bend. And two, bend. And one, palms down, sweep the right leg back, split dog. And then replace the foot, down dog. Crouching tiger, inhale, plank, exhale, bend the knees, roll the hips back for three. Two, and one, left leg rising, option to open the hip, bend the knee, exhale, calmly stepping forwards, arms rising, and arms relaxing, shake out the shoulders, 
give it a little shimmy, 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 shimmy. Flick out the fingers. Ah, from here, squeeze the glutes, lift the pubic bone. And the right arm rises by the ear and begins to rotate. That's it, folks. Yes, Mia. That's it, Anna. And this time, let the left arm come behind you, open into the twist. Pause. That's it, Finn. And then go to the other side, opening out. Pause. Hands come down. Back toes tuck. Back knee lift. Straighten the front leg for three. And two. And one. Bend the knee, hands down. Split dog. Left leg comes up. Left foot returns, option for crouching tiger three times, or for a more regular vinyasa, maybe the knees down, maybe chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Take two or three breaths here. We're going to build on that sequence. Inhale, the right leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip as an option, pause here. Optional extra, bring your left elbow down onto the ground. Lift the right knee. And then come back onto the hands. Exhale, knee to the left elbow, scoop in. Take it back, split dog. Knee to the chest, scoop in. Hand back. Knee to the right elbow. And back. Big step forwards, high lunge this time, back knee off the floor, arms rising. Let the arms gently settle down like raindrops. Again, lift the pubic bone, engage the glutes. Check your front knees above your front ankle. Could you bring the left arm by the left ear? And stabilise the pelvis as you kind of spiral, circle the arms. Allow the spiral to take you into a twist to the right. Pause. And continue to spiral into warrior two. Spread the mat between your feet like you're trying to stretch it apart. As you breathe in, reverse. As you breathe out, reach the arms forwards. Listen closely. This time as you reverse, keep the arms going until they curl in, almost forming a ball in front of you, yeah, and then reach forward. Again, reverse, but curl the arms in, spiral them in, reaching forward. This time as you spiral the hands in, bring the palms one on top of each other at the heart like you're holding a sun in front of the chest. Straighten your front leg. Lift your front toes, bend your back knee, sitting down. Take a breath or two here, floating. Hold the sun. And now warrior two, hands down, vinyasa, right foot back. Down dog, five breaths. See if you can settle the breath. That's it, Ian. Sitting bones lift. Lovely Davy. Just always checking in that tendency, folks, that down dog sometimes gets a little bit shorter as we practice. Just notice if it becomes very short at any point. And we're going to continue on the second side. Inhale, left leg lift. And then you open the hip. Option to breathe here or right forearm to come down. Kind of looking under the armpit. Peekaboo, hello. If you came down, lift back up. Knee to the right elbow, cross through, belly button in. Inhale, split dog. Knee to chest, really scoop the belly and find your abs. Back. Left elbow. And back. Big step forwards. High lunge, rising up. Fingertips settle down like rain. It's been nice in London, we've had rain rather than snow. <laughs> Refreshing. Left arm comes up by the ear, begin to circle. You can let the fingertips trail behind the wrists. 
feeling very fluid. Allow the spiral to open the arms to the left, pause, and then continue warrior two. And stretch the mat between your feet, strong legs. Those of you who are naturally quite bendy in your back, think about sending your tailbone towards your back heel to lengthen through the lower back. Let's reverse. The hands reach for the sun. And this time as you reverse, once again coming back, bring the hands into that little ball shape. And then again reaching forwards both arms. Reaching back, circling arms into that ball shape, holding the sun, reaching for the sun. This time circle the arms, hold the sun at the heart, left hand above, right hand below, straighten your front leg, lift the front toes, bend the back knee, hold. Yes, that's in our city. that's in Italia. And now slowly release, warrior two, hands down, vinyasa. You could float the left leg if you want heat. Down dog, five breaths. Those of you who want to cool it down, take child's pose. If you want to heat it up, turbo dog. If you're taking turbo, bend the elbows, but keep them off the ground, they float. Squeeze the elbows in, hold. Three. That's it, Penny. Two. Straighten the legs a little bit, Fiona. Teeny weeny bit. One. Everybody down, dog. From here, bend your knees, come down to all fours, folks. So find a hands and knees position and can you firmly press the floor away with the hands, really push into the floor, feel your upper back broad. From here, can you bring your right heel in towards your glutes and then lift the knee. Contain the ribs and now bring your knee into your chest and really scoop in, knee as close to your chest as you can. But as you come back, keep the heel close to your glutes. Squeeze the heel in. Two more. Keep the heel in. Last one. And release. Stretch the back leg. Turn the right heel down. Swing your left foot out to the side. Side plank, right arm coming up. Breathe here. With the option to circle that top arm. One. The hand returns, all fours. This time left heel comes into the glutes. Lift the knee. And then knee into the chest, push the floor away for three. Keep the heel in, knee comes back. Two. Keep the heel in, knee comes back. One. Slide the leg long, side plank, second side. That's it, Caroline. Hand comes down. From here, downward dog. Option for a vinyasa or to stay in down dog. That's it, Dominique. Really wrap the upper arm bones in. Feel the inner elbows turn forwards. That's it, Anna. Great. From here, building on that same sequence, right leg lifts, scorpion tail. Option for the left elbow down. If you're on the elbow, this time slide the right hand back in line with the left elbow. Draw the right elbow into your body. Three, two, one. Everybody split dog. Knee to the left elbow, pause, straighten the leg. Begin to lift the left arm to the sky. Fallen triangle pose. Lift the hips. Slowly return, split dog, knee to chest, and back. Keep the heel in, knee to the right elbow, and back. Big step forwards at long glass, high <laughs> lunge, coming up. Oh, the fingertips trickle down like cooling rain. So we're going to flow through that sequence we did before. Left arm by the ear. 
circle. Allow the right arm to open you into the standing twist. This time keep going, reverse twist. And now go all the way round to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Reach for the sun. And now as you reverse, gather the sun to the heart, straighten the front leg, come down into the lunge. Once again, rise back up, hands down, vinyasa. Beautifully flowy, every foot here. Yeah. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Option to bend the knee, open the hip. You could breathe here, maybe this is enough. Maybe right elbow down and left hand back. If you're on the left palm, squeeze the left elbow in and leave that over them <laughs> into my plant. Elbow in, lift the hips. Slowly release, down dog split, knee to the right elbow, forward triangle. That's it, Georgia, and back. Knee to the chest, exhaling. That's it, here, and back. Knee to the left elbow, yes, Caroline, higher, 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 and back. Big step forwards, high lunge. Together rising, fingertips settle down like they could wash away the heat and the tension. Right arm by the ear, circling. Let the left arm lead you into the twist and then reverse twist. Then change direction, warrior two. Reversing. Reach for the sun. And now gather the sun at the heart, curl the arms round, straighten the front leg, lateral lunge. And then release, hands down, vinyasa. Again, taking five or more breaths here. Could be child's pose, could be dog. Sense what you need right now. Could be turbo, maybe you need turbo. That's it, Dominique. And if you're in dolphin and really want to cultivate extra strength, walk your feet closer to your elbows, which will mean your hamstrings have to lengthen more and your shoulders have to work harder. Which is a good prep for forearm balance. Yes, Penny, yes. Start to find your downward dog, folks. From here, lower down to your hands and knees. So, <clears throat> If you have a brick, acquaint yourself with your lovely brick now. If you don't have a brick, we're going to do the same thing we did before, this one, on hands and knees. But this time, if you have a brick, the brick is going to come behind, I'll show you my left leg, but the brick is going to come behind the right leg first. I'm going to bring the brick to my ankle, and the other end of the brick just below my bum to the lower part of my glutes. So we're going to be here. So have the brick behind your right leg to begin. Straighten the arms, lift the knee behind you. Squeeze the brick more than you want to. Squeeze it more than you want to. Knee comes into the chest for three. And back, squeeze the brick for two. And back, if you don't have a brick, just squeeze the heel in. One, hold. Knee in, hold. Hold, release. <laughs> Let go of the brick. Give your right leg some love. Let's switch sides. Brick behind the left ankle and the lower butt, as they call it in the contortion world. The downstairs butt. And left knee comes up. Knee to chest for three. Back. Two. That's it, Finn. Really squeeze in. This is good for your splits, Finn. And one. Hold. Knee in. Hold. Push, push, push. That's it, Anna. Push, push. Straighten the arms. Yes. And release, stretch out that left leg. Get rid of that nasty brick. Down the dog. Optional vinyasa if you want it. Remember your down the dog. Inhale, right leg lift. Same sequence, building. Bend the right knee. Option to come down to the left forearm. 
and slide the right hand back. If the right hand is back, this time bring that right knee onto the triceps of the right arm. Hold if you're here. Eventually back leg will lift and float. Two more breaths. Everybody split dog. Knee to right elbow, fallen triangle. This time option to lift the foot and hold it with the hand. Cooking with gas, folks. <laughs> Release, split dog. Big step forwards, high lunge. Take a moment, settle your breath. Settle the fingertips. Begin to circle arms backwards. The right arm leads you into the twist and then reverses. Change direction, warrior two. Change direction, reverse. Reach for the sun. Again, reverse, gather the sun to the heart, scoop the arms, bend the back knee. This time, breathe, here, hold. Lift your right heel off the ground. Now, option one, you could bring your hands down to the floor as we transition or you keep the hands in front of the heart. Turn your right toes down, shift the other hip. And again. Beautiful folks, and again. And again. Last time, over the right foot, come to the front of your mat, hands down, lizard lunge. Bring your hands to the inside of that front foot. Wiggle the right foot out to the side. Arm breaths. From here, slowly lower down onto the back knee. Option to breathe here or to come to the forearms if that feels good. Now, as a somewhat kind of snazzy variation, if you're on the forearms, option bend the back knee. Your right hand, reach it through your legs to catch the left foot and bring the heel into your bum. Three more breaths. Two. One. From here, come back to all fours. Child's pose. Do you empty the lungs? I'm tired of the breath. Washing and clearing the shores of your body. One. And very slowly, finding downward facing dog. When you're ready, left leg rises, bend the knee. Option to come down onto the right forearm, left hand back. If you're here, Bring your left knee onto the triceps of the left arm, lean forwards, maybe lift the foot. That's it, Finn. Take your head forwards. You use the head as a counterweight. That's it. That's it, Anna. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, everybody. Yes, Fiona. And back. Knee to the right elbow, fallen triangle. Option to hold the foot and lift it up. And then take it back. Big step forwards. High lunge. Let the fingers settle down. Calming. Begin to circle the arms back. Left arm leads you into the twist to reverse. And then reversing direction, warrior two. Reversing direction, reverse warrior. Hands reach for the sun. As you reverse the gather this into the heart, scoop the hands lower into the back hip. Right heel comes up. Again, you can keep the hands in front of your chest or hands on the floor as you transition. Into the left foot. Back to the right. And the left. And the right. One more time to the left. This time turn the front foot forwards. Lizard lunge. It's helpful in these poses where the leg is extended behind you to engage the glutes. Squeeze the right glutes. And everybody back me down. 
You could breathe here, you could come onto the forearms. The forearms feels easy. Then the right knee, left hand reaches behind, catches the foot. And if you have the foot, when you bring the heel into your bum, level the hips again and bring the foot kind of more central in the posture rather than to the side. That's it, Finn, exactly. Beautiful Nancy. Great Penny. Slowly release, folks. From here, down dog. Just for a moment, lift the right leg. Keep your pelvis level to the ground this time. Can you bend the right knee, bring the heel to your bum, keep the hips level, not opening the hip. And then switch sides. Pelvis level to the ground. Bend the left knee, foot towards the glutes. And now release. Come down to all fours, folks. So let's play with a tricky transition here. So from the hands and knees, have your hands slightly in front of your shoulders, maybe an inch or two. Tuck your toes, and now can you bring your right heel into your bum and lift the knee. Can you lift into that split dog from here, just on one leg, so tuck the toes, keep the right knee off the floor, and lift up into the bent knee split dog. Now control it very slowly back down onto that one knee, it's tricky on the toes. Switch sides. Left heel comes in, tuck the right toes. Squeeze the glutes, pull your ribs in for abdominal support. And then lifting up into down dog on that one leg. Keep the left heel in. The descent is really tricky. If it feels too much in your toes, place the other foot down, lowering back down. Guess what we're gonna do now with the brick? <laughs> so, if you don't have a brick, same thing again. If you do have a brick, Brick is coming behind the ankle and into the glutes, the downstairs glutes. Again, have your hands slightly in front of the shoulders, left toes tuck. And here we go. Lift the right knee off the floor, squeeze the brick more than you want to. Down dog with the brick between the glute and the knee, uh, the ankle. From here, knee to chest, keep the brick in place for three. And back, squeeze the brick, two. And back, one, hold, three, hold, two, hold, one, lower the knees down. Stretch your right leg out behind you. Press the heel away. Just for a moment, come to a kneeling position. Let's give your wrists a circle. They've done a lot. Fingertips beside you. Take the left arm diagonally to the side, two circles. Hand comes down. Right arm. And once more each side. Beautiful, everybody. So the neck feel free, released. As we come back down, brick behind. Left ankle, glutes. And again, as you find the hands and knees, hands a little bit in front of the shoulders so your down dog's not too short. Tuck your right toes, lift your left knee off the ground, and up we come. Keep the brick in, and bring the knee into the chest for three. If you're dropping the brick, don't worry. Two, put it back in. And one, yes, Fiona, hold, hold, three. Knee into chest, two, one, lower down, release, stretch the left leg long. <laughs> I need a towel, either my heating is too hot or the sequence is really strong. <laughs> Just for a moment, child's pose. Move towards last couple standing poses and then a syrupy, honey-like finish. Coming back to all fours, downward facing dog. From here, walk your feet to your hands, forward fold. And slowly curling all the way up to stand, take the arms overhead. Bring a little blue sky down. 
mountain pose. So if you have a brick, from here find your brick. This is really tricky this time. So the brick is going to come, you might watch me first, the brick is going to come behind the ankle and the lower glutes or the upper hamstrings. I'm going to squeeze, I'm going to find my balance and I'm going to see if I can find warrior three with the arms back. I'm quite pleased this is going so well so far. I didn't expect to have the brick here still. <laughs> and then you're going to come back up, knee comes into the chest, squeeze the brick. Three, two, one. <laughs> so again, brick behind the ankle and the glutes. If you drop it, don't worry. Warrior three, arms back, that's up here. Knee to chest, scoop in, yes, yes, yes. Two. That's the Dominique, yep, squeeze it. Yes, Ian, yes, Davey, rocking the pink brick. And one, catch the brick, place it next to you for a moment. Shift weight into the left foot, right knee, hold it into the chest, and now could you catch the big toe with the right hand? And optionally, straightening the right leg out in front of you for a nice hamstring counter pose release. If it's easy to hold with one hand, I recommend holding with two as you start to get the outer part of the knee, the lateral side a little bit more if you're at that point. Slowly release, keep it shake out, oh, wiggle the hips, gyration. Okay, second side. This is the last thing we're doing with the brick in this position. So, bring it in. Kind of wedging it, warrior three, which is really flying crane from Qigong, knee to chest for three, and back. That's it, Anna. Yes, Mia. Yes, Caroline, two. Last one, everybody. Beautiful Penny, heroic. Yes, Saria. From here, release your brick. Bring the left knee into your chest this time. Maybe catching the big toe with the left hand, straighten the leg in front of you. Again, hold with both hands if you've already got lots of space there. Those of you doing that, notice how that changes the sensation dramatically. Good, Ian. Yes, chest lifted. Exactly. Fabulous, Natalia. Beautiful, everybody. Slowly release. So. Here, just for a moment, shake out the legs. And bring the feet about shoulder width apart. <clears throat> and take your right arm by the ear. And let's just circle the arms back in a kind of lazy sort of way. Let the knees be soft. And sense how the body turns. And now slow the movement down. The next time your left arm comes up and back, could you take the hand and rest it at the sacrum, fingers point down, left hand behind you, right hand forwards. Now could you tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, reach that right arm forwards and up. Option to back bend a little bit more if that feels good, send the hips forwards, glutes on, and then return, and once again bend the knee, circle it. Let's give yourself to the spiraling. And the next time the right arm comes back, slow it down, right hand to the sacrum. Tuck the tailbone, send the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, left arm could come up. With the sense of lifting the belly button up and in slightly, the belly button comes up and in, like it's trying to reach your heart. That's it, Ian, yes. Slowly release. And you might stand or you might circle if that feels good. <clears throat> and so you might continue with that option, or if it feels good to you, you could take both hands behind. If you're doing this version, it's helpful to bring the elbows in towards each other. 
And again, I'm supporting, but I'm also strongly contracting my glutes and tucking my tailbone, hips forwards, heart rising. Option to lean back into the hands. Bending the knees a little bit as you go back. That's it, Finn. Yeah, and keep the feet apart, everybody. Slowly release. This time, could you circle the arms forwards? Same pattern. If it feels good, you might bend, allowing the spine to flex, almost like you're swimming from crawl with a round back, releasing the fascia as you swim side to side. When you feel ready, slowly rising up. I'm going to come into one more round of those. Now, those of you who felt comfortable then, if that felt good, if you feel you've got a bit more space, as a trickier, deeper option, if that's what you want today, in this option, what I'm going to ask you to do, if you're taking it, is with the feet shoulder width apart, slightly turn the toes out. So maybe just half an inch or so, so the feet are slightly turned out. If you're taking this trickier version, tuck the tailbone, as before, coming forwards. This time, I'm going to start to walk my hands down my thighs. I'm bending my knees, and I'm going to take my hands further down, maybe even to the calves, and then walking back up. Or you might be taking one of the other versions. That's it, Dominique. The knees will bend and bend and bend more and more. Lovely, Pia. That's it, Finn. Yes. Great, sorry. Nice option. Slowly coming back. Take the arms up and folding forward slowly. From here, walk your feet back, down dog. And we'll take Crouching Tiger, but could you round the back as you come into it, scoop the belly in, cat spine, release your lower back, and then Crouching Tiger. Again, round the back, counter pose. One more. From here, lower down to your knees. Could you take your knees wide, as wide as your shoulders, so knees shoulder width apart, bring your big toes to touch. Walking the hands back till you sit towards your heels. I'm going to take um, Simhasana, lion's pose with lion's breath. In lion's breath, traditionally, the tongue comes out to touch the chin. The mouth is open, the expression is very open and you're looking to the point of the third eye, so you'll go cross-eyed in the kind of true representation of lion's breath. It's a bit like <sighs> that kind of thing. So this pose is actually quite old. We can trace it back to about the 16th, 17th century from the Hatha Yoga Pradipika. And there's two placements of the hands. So first placement, fingers face forwards in between the knees, and let's all do this one first, actually. Fingers face forwards. Lift the chest, lift the, the head, and then as you breathe in, fill the lungs, and now stick your tongue out, lion's breath. <sighs> License to feel a bit mad. So the second hand placement turns the hands the other way round. So the fingers will face in towards the body. Hands still between the knees, pretty much. And it's quite a strong wrist stretch. Hips back, press into the fingertips. Let's take two more lion's breaths. Breath in, tongue out. One more time, think of it as a gym for your face. And release. And then coming into either a low child's pose if your knees are starting to feel a little bit tender Let's come to all fours and straighten one leg then the other. Otherwise, settling down. Calm breaths. Slowly coming up. 
I'm going to take a forward fold with two options. So the first option is that we'll come round and we'll take the legs into a V position and then bend the right knee in and we'll fold from this position. Option two is stronger in the knee. So in option two, what you'll do is you'll come to sit on the floor on the inside of the foot like you would do for hero's pose. So you'll be on the floor, it's very strong in the knee, so go easy if you're taking this one. But again, the left leg will be out to the side. So you'll either be here with the knee bent and the hip down, or here. Either way, fold forwards. And can you press your left thigh down into the ground? That's it, Georgia. Yes. Keep those toes flexed, pointing to the ceiling. Other way, other way. Yeah, that's it. The toes are longing for the sky. That's it, Dominique. Bring your, if you're in the, in the Virasana version, have the heel close into your glutes so there isn't a gap between the foot. Heels close in. From here, folks, start to come up. And then this time turn towards the straight leg and fold over the straight leg. Now start to come up. Last thing we're going to do in this arrangement, take your right hand and can you take it to the outside of the left thigh or the left knee? So we're going to encourage twists. So as you hold the outside of the leg with the right hand, sit tall and turn the body into the twist. If you've got lots of space, start to walk that right hand down the leg, eventually catching the outside edge of the foot. But think about lifting up rather than folding. One more breath. And then releasing both legs into that V shape. Just for a moment, back onto the hands, bend the knees, and let's swish. Once again, V shape this time, left foot comes in. Could be next to the thigh, or you could bring the heel next to the glutes, and that left sitting bone is reaching down to the floor. Fold forwards in between the legs. And again, if folding forwards is tricky, you could use your hands either side of you, lifting up. That's it. Follow the tide of your breath. In forward folds, it can be helpful, I think, to draw the belly button in a tiny bit, very gently, just gently drawing in of the belly button. So as you inhale, that will encourage the breath into the sides of the ribs and the upper chest. And what that inevitably does is it lifts the ribcage further away from the pelvis, which facilitates the forward fold. So that slight drawing in of the belly prevents the breath going down into the belly and instead helps lift the chest and lengthen the spine. That's the thinking and that's my experience in my body. But try it on for size. We're ready, slowly come back and then turning towards the straight leg. Nothing else changes, just the spine and then folding forwards. See if the eyebrows could unknit, if the face could settle. And 
slowly as you come up this time right hand comes beside you and take the left hand to the outside of the straight leg so it's quite a strong twist sit tall and maybe slide the hand down the leg towards the foot but again think about lifting up in this one rather than folding forwards so you get a little bit more of the twist That's it, Nancy. Yeah, exactly. Really upright. Beautiful, Georgette. Slowly, slowly coming out now. And then from here, <clears throat> bend your knees as you lie down. And then swish, swish with the knees. Take your feet as wide as your mat and now send the knees to the left as an option place your right foot on top of the left knee which will encourage the uh, sorry the left foot on top of the right knee <laughs> knees to the left left foot on top of the right knee which will encourage the right thigh bone to rotate in slightly more Breathe into the areas that feel like they need the space and the release. Imagine breathing into the tight bits. And when you're ready, releasing. Keep the feet wide, knees to the other side, to the right. And the right foot might come on top of the left knee just to help draw it down a little bit. And send the breath to the areas that need release. When you're ready, Finding your way to Shavasana or any comfortable, restful position. Clear the lungs. Empty. So those words from Khalil Gibran once more. Forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the winds long to play with your hair. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. Let there be spaces in your togetherness. Let there be spaces in your togetherness.
So just becoming aware of your breathing again, gentle rolling ocean. And you might stay in Shavasana longer if you have the time. But if you're finishing on the dot, starting to stretch out slowly. <clears throat> Wiggle the feet in and slowly come to sit. So, as the palms join, head bows to heart. Heart bows to our gut instinct and our whole form bows to the earth that longs to play and explore and be part of us. We close here. Thank you.